Hi guys, it's Tasha. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the crib. For my returning positive supporters and subscribers, welcome back. Come on in and get comfortable. Guys, this is a re-record. I don't know if my coffee had me wired or not, or what was going on, but I'm re-recording and republishing this video on how to make this top loading box for your hexagon crat craddy have mercy for your hexagon craft caddy and it will fit the one with the shorter boxes and the one with the taller boxes okay so we're going to start off with this sheet of paper this sheet of paper measures eight and one eight inches wide by seven and one eight inches in height now the eight and one eight inch side will determine the direction that your pattern goes okay so if you want these are trees so if you want the trees to go in another direction you just choose the seven and the eight okay so what we're going to do on this eight and one eighth inch side we're going to make our scores and like i say this is the side that will make the determination of which way your pattern goes okay so the on the eight and one eight we're gonna mark i'm sorry we're gonna score at seven eighths inch and seven eighths inch is the mark before the one inch on your martha stewart scoreboard then we're gonna do three and five eighths so you come over to the three and then count five one two three four and five that's three and five eighths right there we're gonna do four and a half and then we're gonna do seven and a quarter. There we go. And then we're gonna make one turn to the left. And I guess that would be called that would be considered a quarter turn. Because if your paper is this way, this is how your pattern goes. You need to turn it this way because now we're we are about to uh score the box top, okay. So that's why it's important that you go from your eight and one eight, take a quarter turn to the left and start the scoring. So we're going to score at, again, seven eighths inch. We're going to score at one and three quarter inches. Wait a minute. Ooh, is that too far? Ooh, I, what I did, oh, I did that wrong. It's right there. Okay, I messed up, but I went back and put my little um, 7 eighths inch. And now we're going to do 1 and 3 quarter inches. And then 6 and a quarter. Okay, so that's what we need to um, for our scores. Okay, what we're going to do next is, let's, you know what, let's uh, go ahead on and cut these out. Can you guys see this? Let me take some, take some time and put some ink on these so you guys can see. So give me a second. Okay, so I just went back and inked up the paper here. So let's go ahead on and fold on the score lines. Fold on all the score lines. And I'm going to move this school board out of the way. Okay, let me move this. Okay, so now that we have it, it's looking like this. We're going to take our scissors. First thing we're going to do is cut this square right here. We're going to cut that one square away. Okay, make sure that you're on, we're working on the left side right now. We're going to cut this one square away. And we're going to do a little bit of angle cutting just to make sure that the everything folds okay. And make, I'm now making sure that I am in frame. And we're going to, before I go and do that, I'm just going to release these tabs. You can release the rest of the tabs, just cut up to the first score line. Okay, 
And I'm just going to go back and do a little bit of angle cutting. Like I said, this is purely to make sure that everything folds. Okay. And I'll put a, just a little bitty one here, just because I don't, I'm not sure if we need it right there, but here, I put it there, okay? Okay, so now our bottom is looking like this. So now what we need to do is take out the majority of this section right here. We need to take out that part, okay? So I'm going to turn it here. I'm going to turn it upside down. We still, we're on the right-hand side. Turn it upside down, and I'm going to release the tab here down to that to the second score mark. Then I'm going to turn it back, and I'm going to take about half, maybe maybe a little more, maybe a little more than half. I'm going to take that piece away. And please don't talk about my cutting; I can't cut straight. All right, and so now it's looking like that. And what we're gonna do is angle cut. This part isn't necessarily needed, but I just want to keep it in. If you want this to take the whole piece out, you can, but do it this way first. And then if you feel comfortable with taking the whole piece out, you can do that. Okay, so now it looks like that and don't, don't forget now we turned this up we turned it upside down so that we could get to this part all right so I'm gonna do it again actually I'm just gonna turn it and we need to release these four tabs release here release here I'm gonna do this out the way fold that out the way and we just go into the first score line. Release here and release here. There we go. And I'm just gonna just fold those just because really. And basically, your box is really done. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. It's because it, it, it's folded already on the fold lines. And all you gotta do now is just put it together. And that's basically how it's gonna go. See what I mean? So now what I want you to do is pay attention to when you fold this. You're going to put this part at the back. Okay. The open part is going to go to the back. I consider this the back of the box. Okay. Because that's where the top is. The top is going to close to the front. So once you put this part here and once you do this part, you actually want to make sure that this closes to the back of the box. So these two open pieces would be back there together. Now before you do any of that, if you want to put a decorative window here, now's the time to do it. So let me take, I hope this thing got it. I'm gonna take this adhesive. This is the Barely Art, Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. And I'm just gonna put some on here. I'm gonna close this off first. Okay. I just closed the box because it's a box. It closes. It'll close or fold flat. There we go. Okay, now I'm just gonna get this little piece out of here. I'm just gonna be put a, just gonna put a little bit here. A little, a little bit here. A little bit here. I'm gonna close this. Okay, that one didn't even come. That one didn't even do right. See how I didn't do it right? So should I take it a loose? I think it'll close better if I take it a loose. So let's do it again. Let me move that out the way. Let me do this again. 
And see, yes, I make mistakes. And am I going to take it out? Nope. Because stuff happens. There we go. That's better. There we go. That's better. Now, let's get these pieces done here. I'll put a little bit more here. A little bit here. And making sure that I'm spooling this to the back. Yep, okay. There's the open part right there. So I'm just going to put some here. I'm going to close this up. Okay, put this down like this. I'm going to take my bone folder, try to get that in there like so. Okay, and now for these parts, this, this is the reason why I told you that you may or may not want to keep this because it just, all it does is close over here and over here. And this may help the box to be a little bit more sturdy because this is where they meet at on this side. So that's why I say you may want to keep that part. So I'm just keeping both parts because it kind of makes the box look a little bit more finished. Put that a little bit right there and a little bit right there. Right there. Right there. And I'm going to just mash with my foam folder. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to fold these over. I'm going to adhere these over the top. Okay. So I'm bringing, bringing this, I'm bringing this one in here, and I'm gonna bring this over the top of these, so it'll look like that. Okay. And this is the one that you want to try to get these close to the edge, because if you don't, they'll pop out, or they stick out. There we go. That's one. And here's two. And if you want to, you can, like this has some extra overhang. If you want to, you can take that out. But if you cut, if you measure and cut right, I can never measure. Well, at least I can't cut right anyway. You won't have a problem with that. And then once you do that, just close your box up. And there it is. Yeah, and that's why I messed up that. So don't judge me. I'm just going to cut this little piece off, right? I'm just cutting this little piece off. If I can get it off. Oopsies. I'm cutting too far now. I probably messed the box up. But anyway, there it is. Your top loading box that will fit into your craft caddy. There you go. See that? Easy peasy. Okay, guys, that's it. Check the description box for any measurements and things of that nature below. I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. If you haven't, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. All your comments are truly appreciated. Come back anytime and I see you all in my next video. Bye-bye, love bugs.